Hey, health.com family, how are you going today? Welcome to this beautiful Thursday morning. My name's Gareth, and this is Luke, and we're from F45 Flatiron, which is a fantastic functional exercise training studio. Luke actually owns... Uh, F45 Flatiron is the first ever F45 in New York, which is fantastic. Um, F45 started in Australia, made by some um, ex-football players who wanted to keep fit after their retirement. And so they started this program and it just caught on and it's blown up and it's everywhere now. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take you through a little snippet of one of our workouts. So F45 has about 30 different programs with over 3,500 different exercises. So you'll never do the same exercise ever, pretty much. So every day is completely different. We have different, wor uh, different workouts. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday is cardio. Tuesday, Thursday is more based on weights. And then Saturday, we have our mega workout, which is called Hollywood, where we chuck in a live DJ to get the music pumping. So today, because we're in a studio, we can't use our big speakers because everyone will get annoyed outside. So um, usually we have music pumping to match what the workout is. So slow and steady for weights and fast and uh, nice and pacey for the high intensity stuff. So uh, today we're going to do a high intensity workout, a Tabata workout of 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. We're going to be doing... Uh, Three little stations here, as you can see. So we're going to have a body weight exercise, some exercises with the kettlebells, and some dumbbell exercises. It's going to be awesome. So this is just a little taste of what we do at F45. So we'll take you through, do a demonstration of all the exercises, and then we'll hit it and get nice and sweaty. So uh, come on down. So lap one, we have kettlebell. We're going to be doing a duck walk. So you pop those kettlebells over your shoulders, link hands to keep them steady, keep those elbows up, come down into a squat, Walk forward once and then backwards. You want to make sure that we're sticking out our butt for that one to take the pressure off our knees. Once we go back, we're going to stand up and then come back down. The next exercise we have is a bodyweight exercise. It's called a moving plank. So we're coming down, keeping our butt nice and low, shoulders over our elbows and our wrists, and we're just walking down. This is going to work your core, your shoulders, your biceps, your triceps, everything. Just kind of keep that hips nice and low. Moving on, the third exercise, we have a reverse dumbbell lunge with a bicep curl. So we're coming down, making sure we're 90 and 90 at our legs. Come down and bring it up with a nice smile on your face like you're enjoying it. <laughs> That's it. That is lap number one. Lap number two, we're going back to the kettlebells. We're doing a kettlebell swing, a classic. A lot of people think you squat here, but it's actually a hinge of the hips. And you're going to use your glutes to push that kettlebell up just to eye line there. Nice and simple. You think about swinging, so you want to take the pressure off your shoulders so your lower body is doing most of the movement. Think about your uh, arms just being like a chain link going down to the kettlebell. Number two, we have some ice skaters. So we're going to the Winter Olympics here. You want to get as wide as you can. So we're doing three, and then we're coming down into a burpee. A classic functional move. Three and down into a burpee. Nice and simple. Then we're back to the dumbbells. We're going to do some punches here. We're going to do a little combo. So we're going to do three jabs. So two jabs, two hooks, and two uppercuts. So we've got two jabs, two uppercuts, and two hooks. You want to really make sure we're engaging our whole body here, not just our arms. As you can see, Luke's moving his hips here to get as much power and speed as possible for that one. It's a great functional exercise. Finally, the last lap we have, we're going into a sumo squat with one kettlebell and then we're coming up to an upright row. This is a fantastic, fully functional uh, uh, workout exercise here. We're using the whole body. Just make sure when we go up, our elbows stay above the kettlebell. So to match your big toothy grin there. Awesome. Then the bodyweight exercise, I'm going to join in for this one because we do a lot of partner work at F45 because we find that it helps people just motivate themselves a bit more. So we're coming down. We're going to do a push-up. And high five. And the other side. Awesome. Now what they say, couples who train together. So, and the last exercise we have, we are going to pick up those uh, dumbbells. We're coming down and we're just going to do high knees with punches to the front. You really, you know, burn it off here. It's a fantastic exercise. Cool. So that's it. But just before we start, we'll give you a bit more information about uh, 
F45. You know, there's a lot of different workouts here. What we like to say is that we have people that are 70 years old come in, people that have just had a baby, people that have had shoulder reconstructions, a lot of people with knee injuries. We can always regress exercise. And what we say is we want you to get 100% of your capacity. So say something's happened, you have 80%. You can do, we want you to do 100% of that 80% to live a better, healthier life. And it's, it's just a fantastic way to do it. So now I'm going to press play on our mini timer here and we're going to get started. So do you want to get into position? So first up, we're going to do two laps of each one. So Luke will do two sets here. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Nice. So what we want to make sure we do on this one is that we don't let our knees go over our toes. Which is really important. 10 seconds left, then a 10 second break. Oh yeah, Luke's already got a sweat up there. Coming forward, three, two, one, and rest. Shake it out. What we love to do as well when there's music, when there's a break, have a little dance, have a little boogie, you know, show us your individual flair. Luke will in a second. Three, two, one, back to the duck walks. That's it. You want to make sure we keep our chest nice and proud here. You don't want to go too far forward. This one really burns those quads and the butt. Keep those elbows up. That's it. In five, three, two, one. Nice work, rest. So we're going straight into the moving plank. So we're working our legs there and our shoulders. Now we're gonna work our core and our shoulders. Three, two, one, go. Nice work. What you wanna imagine is that I can put a tray of drinks there and it won't spill. And if it does, Luke owes me about 15 bucks. So keep it up. Nice work. You got five seconds left. You want to keep a constant pace with this one as well. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. Whew. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Rest. As you start to fatigue in this second lap, you want to make sure your form stays correct. If that means slowing down a bit, Feel free to do that, but you can also just hold a plank here if your uh, elbows are getting a bit too sore for this one. Nice work, Luke. Keep it up. You've got five seconds left. Three, two, one. Cool. Nearly there. So we're... Third exercise now. We have reverse lunge with a dumbbell curl. As you can see, Luke's heart rate is already getting up here by doing this exercise, which is fantastic. He's making sure his, knee, his knees are at 90 and 90 and that back knee is just going to float off the ground. These are two separate exercises. So we have the reverse lunge and then we have the bicep curl. So they're definitely two separate exercises there. And rest. Have a bit of a dance out. Shake it out. Shake those legs out. That's it. <laughs> Looking good. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Awesome. Also with F45, we do instruct all the exercises as we do, and we have a massive warm up as well before we start. 10 seconds left, keep it up. Nice work, that heart rate's building, I can feel it. Three, two, one. Nice work, so that is uh, lap number one. We're gonna go for a quick break, so Luke can have a breather, and then we'll be back in a second. To our second lap, so we're gonna start it now, you know. Feel free to move that chair away, jump on the ground and do it in front of your computer too. All right, here we go. Except, you know, if you have a kettlebell, if not, just use a cat. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Nice, so we really make sure that our back is straight here, our chest is always up, sticking our butt out, making sure we're nice and straight here. And when you're up there, you wanna clench your lower body as well. So we never wanna give it a break here. Never wanna give our body a break. Three, two, one, and rest, nice work. This is a fantastic functional exercise. It involves um, your anterior and posterior chain. Three, two, one, go. And it's one of a, a classic functional workout. So you'll see it done in a lot of gyms as well. That's it, keep breathing. That's it, right up there. And yeah. you got five seconds. Push it out now nice and fast. Three, two, one, and rest, nice work. So we're going into uh, ice skaters here. These ones you can really pick up the pace to get that heart rate up because it's a body weight exercise. And that also decreases the risk of injury. Nice. 
The best part about these is you can add your own little personal flair to any bodyweight exercises. So you want jazz hands, you can do a bit of that, you know. That's it, nice work. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice, you got one more, one more to go. A little, little jog, there we go, that's it. Three, two, one. Nice, so we've had um, quite a few uh, dancers come in from Broadway shows. We've got a few people in some Broadway shows at the moment training with us because they find that it really helps their bodies when they train for shows, keeps them, keeps them in shape, also decreases the risk of injury. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. Woo! All right. Last exercise for this lap. In three, two, one. Here we go. Which one are you, Conor McGregor or whoever else? I don't know the other guys fighting, so <laughs> that's it. Keep that pace up with those. Always bring it back to your chin. Ten seconds here. That's it, nice work. Pick, lift up that pace for the last three. Pump it out, pump it out. Two, one, and rest. Nice work. We also have uh, 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 rowers and bikes, obviously we couldn't hoof them in here, but there's lots of different exercises we use. And go. We also have uh, resistance bands, chin-up bars. We find a lot of people really love chin-ups because it's something they've always wanted to do in their life. You know, it's on there on the bucket list, skydiving, chin-ups, swim with sharks. Five seconds, keep going, keep that pace up. Three, two, one, nice work. Woo, all right, two laps down, we got one more to go. And then we are done. Three, two, one, let's go with those upright rows. I'll join in with you for this one. Ah, here we go. Remember, this is a sumo squat, so you wanna get nice and wide so we can get, stay upright. Oh yeah. Because it's hit, we want to go as fast as we can for this one. Right. Nice work. All right, we got one more of those left. So if you know, ever around, come on down, check it out. Each day is a completely different workout. And go. Nice. Keep that smile there. Smile on the dial. <laughs> As you can see, Luke's already getting a bit of a sweat up from doing this, and this is only probably a third of the workout we do. So the workouts usually go, well, the whole thing goes for 45 minutes. Two, one, and rest. Nice work. So we're going down to push-ups. But with the demos and the instructions, it's usually about a 36-minute workout. And that's all you need. That's it. Does Borat say? High five. There we go. <laughs> nice. Also, you know, the trainers we have, we're pretty uh, laid back and like to have a bit of fun. It's about encouraging people, not, you know, yelling at them. All right. You got this. Nice. Whew. Get nice and low. Keep that butt up. I'm going to need to buy you a new mat. Two, one. Nice work. Whew. All right, we got one more left. High knees with punches. The lucky last. That's it. Nice work. Feeling fine. Exercise number nine. So keep those knees up. Nice work. That's it. Keep breathing. Use your breath. That'll get you there. Fantastic. Keep the knees up, knees up. There we go. Woo! Three, two, one. Nice work. We got one more here, one more to go. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Yeah. Feeling alive. <laughs> and last one here. Pump it out. That's it. Keep going. Ten seconds left. You got this. Pump it out. Keep those knees up. Get those arms straight when you go out all the way. Extend all the way. Three, two, one. Nice work. Woo! Done. Woo! Nice work. Well, that's uh, a little sneak peek of F45. Functional workout. You know, also in functional is the word fun. We really love to have fun. 
at F45. We put on 80s music. Um, we have eight-week challenges, which are awesome to really kickstart your your body, into, especially, you know, summer's around the corner, and, you know, everyone wants a good winter body, so come on down. Um, it's a fantastic workout. We love working there. You should come on down and give it a go, and if you check out other videos that we have on uh, health.com, and um, we'll see you soon at F45 Training Flatiron.